It is finally time to showcase the brand new Red Endeavor. Sorry, it's taken this long in order to make this video. I was just not prepared material-wise. I was honestly expecting to release just a little bit later, but, um, you know, we got it now. We're going to see how good he is. Um, but first off, let's go through the details of the card. This is his Awakened Art. And, of course, this is his um, normal art right there. Both look very amazing. Yo, before we continue on with this video, just a quick message from me. If you guys are interested in My Hero Academia Ultra Impact and you want to start playing the game and you can't be bothered waiting for the global version, uh, I'll leave the link to my tutorial video in the description on how to download and start playing the game. So make sure you check that out because it does take a few steps in order to start playing the game. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Can we get 100 likes on this video? I'm trying to push the Ultra Impact scene. And I really need your guys' help, so make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. The more interest we get on Ultra Impact, you know, the more likely it's going to get a global version, hopefully. So, anyway, let's continue on with the video. I definitely like the Awakened one a lot better. And in terms of the skill board, I've only gotten him to level 85 level cap. So at this point in time, he has 16,370 HP, 4,515 power, 293 speed and 10 crit rate i believe he has one of the highest attacks in the game and in terms of his skills he's plus ultra prominence burn very good if you haven't seen the animation i can't wait to show you guys what the animation is it's one of the best in the game 600 percent damage to a single enemy with a high chance of burning for three turns and also gains grit which is permanent which is awesome then we got for his action skill one heat fist 225 percent damage to all enemies with a low chance to burn the enemy for 3 turns, decreases the enemy speed by 10% for 3 turns as well. His second action skill, Flame Knuckle, 350% damage to a single enemy, with a low chance to burn the enemy for 3 turns, deals an additional 40% damage if the enemy has a speed debuff, which is perfect because his first skill does the debuff for 3 turns, then he can get the 40% boost no problemo with an without anybody else's help. And then for his first auto skill here, increases plus ultra gauge by 25%. That will obviously increase as you fill up the board. At the start of each wave, increase attack by 35% for three turns. So he's good, very early game as well. Uh, and then for his last auto skill, when HP is 50% or less, increase attack by 20%. Also deals reverse damage for three turns. Reverse damage means the lower the your HP, the higher damage output you are going to deal. So that's really good. He's good. Early game and late game, which is what I find very nice about him. Okay, so let's start off the showcase here. We're going to bring him on the last stage of the main quest, 9-13, where you are versing Overhaul. So we'll see how that goes. Overhaul has a plus ultra that is guaranteed to kill. But if you have grit on your side, then you will actually live that, you know, one-shot kill. So that's actually really good. In terms of the team that we are going to be showcasing him on, we have double eyes well on the team for the power boost for pro heroes. And then we also have the Kirishima here who boosts up Red's power by 20% or whatever, um, which is awesome. So he is fully supported with the power. Uh, I can't wait to see how much damage he can output. Uh, let's jump into things here and see how this goes. He isn't as like upgraded as I would like to. I'm actually holding off upgrading him any further until I know what is needed for the next season of VE Tower. That is coming up in a few days. I believe they're doing a maintenance very soon. So I hope with that maintenance, we'll see some new information and some more leaks on the game. But anyway, um, let's start off with the all skill here because we want to debuff this. Actually, we can't even debuff speed here. So it actually doesn't even matter. So let's just do... Let's just do everybody's chain skill. Make sure we have taunt. Let's go really slow here. I just want to see the skills in action. We are actually going to kill really fast. It's not going to be a big deal. Oh, we can low speed. I thought that was, um, that shield icon is, means he's invulnerable from debuffs, but I guess not. Oh, it must be an Aizawa's skill. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. <laughs> By the way, the memory that I equipped Endeavor is the one that gives him crit rate as well as a power boost. So he's actually getting a lot. Actually, let's go and see. 105 power boost with a crit rate of 20%, plus he gets his own 35% power increase. So, and that's lasting for two more waves. So I believe they just add on. So it's 140% uh, 
in the power up boost, which is awesome. Uh, but let's see how much damage he's going to do with his second skill here. With that extra 35% power because we've got the speed debuff. Let's have a look. So Eyes was doing 11,000 with type advantage. And then resisted, by the way. Um, and Dev is doing like 10,000 as well. We'll bring him on to USJ where we have type advantage. Uh, but I just wanted to see if we can get the grit going. Alright, we were close to the plus ultra here. I'm actually not going to use Izu's plus ultra because I want to see if we can get to the uh, overhauls plus ultra phase. I'll try at the very least. He's on destroy mode. Get little counters in. Alright, so let's do prominence burn now. Guys, you got to watch this. We're going to go and slow it down here. This is going to be so beautiful. Let's do it. Oh, he took a lot of damage here. But remember, when he's under 50% dam um, HP, he gets even more damage output. And look at this beautiful animation. This is one of the sickest moments in the show as well. Oh my god. 19,000 damage is not too bad. Um, especially when resisted. And look at that. He lived on 1 HP. So we actually just used our grit there, which is unfortunate. Um, because <laughs> he kept targeting uh, Endeavor, but as you can see, he's living on 1 HP. Uh, with the underneath the 50% HP, as you can see, he's got the reverse damage right there. And then 125% power boost uh, now because of his low HP. I just want to do one more skill, one more before we leave here. 10,000 damage. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Um... That was type neutral or resisted damage, so we can obviously see better than that. I'm going to expect in USJ he's going to hit over like 60,000 uh, at this power. Okay, so the last thing I want to showcase him on is USJ. Uh, give him like some type advantage situations. We're going to verse Gran Torino level 4. I haven't even done it. I don't even think I'm going to do 916,000 HP of damage to him, but I just want to see him in like the hardest boss of green, right? Uh, VE Tower, we don't have any green bosses, so uh, this will have to do. And in this part, I would like to see some burn. Burn is going to be really, really good. So we're just going to run the exact same team like we did before. All right, so let's lower his speed here and get the taunt going. Might as well. Lower that speed. Got that seal in, which is good. Um, and then we will do this. Kirishima is going to be hella fast, so I'm going to be ready for this. 22,000 damage, and I freaking missed it. <laughs> Just our plus ultra, it's not... We would have got our one plus ultra earlier. No burn, though, from the first two skills. 22,000 damage is actually not too bad as well. He's got his skill going, so we'll do the double plus ultra. Um, which means, unfortunately, I couldn't get his plus ultra on his max cap. Because now the uh, three turns have expired since we're on turn four now. So he only gets the 105% power boost from, you know, the friends and his uh, memory. But this will do. Come on, can we get the seal? Yes, we do get the seal. Now do we get the burn? Come on. Critical as well while you're there. We need those crits. No, not, not even a critical, but 44,000 damage. That's actually so good. What? I want to see the crit now. Alright, we will go... Okay, make sure I do Kirishima's first so I'm actually ready. There we go. I can only do Kirishima's on the first one. He does about 10,000 damage with his first skill. His AoE to a singular unit, which is actually not bad. Alright, so no more taunt here. Uh, this is only... We'll just see how this goes. We will plus ultra as well with Aizawa. Get everybody a damage reduction. 18,000. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It wasn't a crit. 17,000. Got the seal. Plus ultra again. Yeah, might as well. Come on. We haven't seen the burn yet. High chance. Am I just unlucky? What's happening here? Am I missing out? Like, you can't burn this guy? 
No burn again. Wow. Maybe you can only burn villains. What, the, what if that's the case? Because I haven't seen the burn yet. Uh, we only got two more turns here. We couldn't even get half HP. I mean, we would have with the burn. And uh, you know what's funny? Endeavor didn't get hit at all. <laughs> we didn't even see his reverse damage go ham. Until then. What if he lives that? Because <laughs> of his grit. Yeah, so that was him right there. If I say so myself, I think he did about 350,000 damage worth there for the team. So it's actually not that bad. Um, if we got burn, we should have definitely got past halfway. Need a little bit more upgrading for him. That would be really nice. But I, again, I'm holding that off until VE Tower. We confirm that Endeavor is a bonus character. But with that said, that's going to wrap up Endeavor. Let me know your thoughts on him. Uh, are you going to summon him? Did you pull him? Are you using him? Let me know. All right. We have MHA Ultra Impact videos every single day on this channel. So make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.